Jet Zero is not just a topic that's taking place here in Paris in 2023, but it's been going on for a number of years. Now, one company that think they have the ideal solution is h to fly And to tell us more, I've got their founder and their CEO, Josef Kahlo. Now, it's great to see you here in Paris, first of all, and thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about h to fly then, the background and who you are. So H2Fly is a company which was founded in 2014 and we are out of the German Aerospace Center. Uh, since 2014, we um, refurbished an aircraft with uh, electric propulsion, with a hydrogen powertrain. And since then, we had seven test campaigns showing that it is possible to fly with passengers with uh, hydrogen and electric propulsion cross country. So 2014 seems like a very long time ago, and actually it's not very long at all for the developments you've made. Nine years in the making now, it's cost a lot of money to get to the stage that you're at. But it obviously has a focus that's not just to 2050. It seems like you're trying to bring that, that line forwards to maybe 2025 or maybe 2030. So our plane today, the HY4, shows that it is possible to fly with passengers, but also to use liquid hydrogen. And this is a very important step with, because it shows us from the storage of the fuel to the propulsion, we can have long range flight. Having this in mind, we started to upgrade the fuel cell. So at the moment we are planning for megawatt capacity, which gives us the opportunity to go into a 40 seater, which we think we can demonstrate in 2025 as a demonstrator and then start in 2028, 29 to commercialize that uh, high uh, power system. And that's more to do with altitude, isn't it? So the higher you go, the more people you can carry, the more, you, more weight you can take because the air is thinner. It's, it's, a, it's a simple fact there. We've struggled over the years with me we looking past electric being the only way or SAF being the only way. Using hydrogen is, is not something new nowadays, but it's something that we must grasp with both hands. So what we see is, is that from a basic technological perspective, we can go up to like 27,000 feet and have the same power which we have on ground with our new fuel cell system, the H175. And having this in mind and the coupling with the liquid hydrogen, we can go more than 2,000 kilometers, carry 40 passengers and go to an altitude flight level 270. Now, how can we compare this with the synthetic air fuel? or with the direct combustion of hydrogen. So what we see is, is that if we want to do the transformation of the whole energy sector, we would need the most efficient part. So from power regenerative, which we use for hydrogen production, to the use of hydrogen. And if we compare that part, hydrogen, with the SAF, we see that there are major gains in the primary energy which we have to deliver. So from our perspective, hydrogen is the most efficient part. And based on that, we see that is the only part if we really want to do the transformation of the full sector, not only messing around with a, lot, uh, with a couple of demonstrations. Now, it is fantastic to see the advancements you're making. It's, it's, what are the particular challenges, the hurdles you've had to overcome in this nine years that you've been operating since 2014? So we have seen that um, component development, if we are asking as an integrator, we are asking for 100 components. So let's uh, buy 100 compressors no compressor developer will start developing for us exactly what we want until we pay it. So in this case, we had to do a lot of development on our own. So we also do component development. Now we see major interest from other companies and that accelerates the development of components. So we are able to integrate much faster. So why is it that you have uh that you've come to Paris really, why are you here at the air show? It seems like an obvious question, but why are you here? What are you hoping to achieve from your, your stints here? So, uh, first of all, uh, we are working together with Air Liquide to integrate the liquid hydrogen storage system into the plane. And it was a very good opportunity to show the full powertrain from storage to fuel cell to electric propulsion. So we will start uh, six weeks from now with the HY4 flying and test campaign. 
And Le Bourget is for us the first step to announce that we can control the full powertrain from the storage over the fuel cell to the electric motor. And this is our, I would say, um, best IP which we can deliver. It sounds like it's a very exciting time. Joseph, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.